Cross and the Horror by Carla Corsetti, Secretary of State for Italy's Democratic Atheist Party. The massacre of Oslo may be remembered as the most dramatic event of the turn of the century. It is a tragedy that Europe cannot accept, especially since it is not related to Islam, but to Aryan Christianity. This immense and speechless tragedy disorients the certainties of many, and confirms the concerns of a few. We cannot dismiss it as an act of terrorism, the child of hatred, as the head of the Vatican State, Pope Ratzinger, trivially declared when he uttered sentences of ridiculous circumstances. This massacre has a deeper political foundation than we think of course incomprehensible to the old ladies of the afternoon rosary club, but it is unacceptable that it is not evaluated with political weight for he or she who has the institutional duty to do so. The document of 1,500 pages written by Anders Bering Breivik is not only the obsession of a violent frenzy that has lost all sense of reality. Breivik is lucid and heinously violent, as any Templar crusader should be. Breivik has internalized the biblical message within himself to the point that he decided to become the armed executioner. Anders Bering Breivik is not a degenerate profligate son who has rejected the teachings received. Instead, Breivik is the diligent child that carried out those teachings to the letter. There is a passage in Breivik's political document which is not surprising and is what directs itself to the Bible, the foundation of his criminal action, which leads to the Christian roots of Europe's future, which refers to Christianity not as a religious moral, but as a mandatory cultural identity for all Europeans. Anders Bering Breivik knows he has developed a thorough political document, and he knows the existing political parties which, with empathy, could enforce his mission of conversion. For Italy, he has identified the following political parties for training. Alianza Nazionale Lega Nord E Nuova Forza Anders Bering Breivik was aware that only a striking action would bring the entire planet to take notice of his message. Today his paper is the attention of all the editorial offices. They are reading it in all corners of the world. Everyone is trying to understand, from his writings, the reasons of the massacre. Those who accept Breivik's political position while reading it will not be few. Many are asking themselves if Breivik had accomplices, but they haven't told us which types of accomplices may have been addressed. Accomplices in buying weapons, or accomplices in saying that Europe must necessarily have Christian roots. Accomplices in buying the explosives, or the accomplices in saying that the European Court of Human Rights has weakened Europe. Accomplices or accessories in the packaging of bombs, or accomplices in anti-Muslim racism. Accomplices in planning, or accomplices in saying that the crucifix is a symbol to be imposed to everyone. The massacre of Oslo has had the effect of an earthquake, and nothing will ever be the same as before, when it was easy to identify the enemy, because he looked non-Western, and preferably Muslim. Fear is rampant today because the enemy has the appearance of our neighbor and is Christian. Psychiatry will probe into the mind of Anders Bering Breivik to find reasons for his action, but we all know that diversity impels many people to suppress diversity. To the killing of a messenger who gives voice to a thought different from our own. I do not know what the psychiatric classification is for this impulse. I simply call it religion.